tremendous receiving role. Just losing his feet. That's the bit of Al Mickey. He's gone down. His lovely bit of skill from him. Now, a chance here for Pakistan. Ball play forward by Farid the skipper. Cracked across. Good deflection by Virendra, but it falls to a player in green who drives to the edge of the circle. Ball in from uh, Ijaz. That's where Pakistan are really dangerous from broken play. Ali fires it in. Too high. Here are world rankings there as we see this ball fired in. <coughs> a little leg glance from Rupinder. Umpire Peter Wright awarding for a hit to India there. Oh, India definitely playing the more structured setup of the two teams. Pakistan just sitting back and waiting for broken play and then looking to hit off a counter. That's why you can see this India team very compact. There's lots of space behind with Pindapal. So if there is a turnover, the big aerial over the top is a good option. It means that your forwards have to strike if India come forward well again. Party bit to the circle. It's still there if they want it, but they can't get it out from underneath the feet. Nick and Tamayo that was just looking to snipe on the end of that one. Just couldn't quite get it. Here you go. But just steals it but rolls it under the feet of Padip Moore. Tosik throwing the air, it's a terrible aerial. And here is Yusuf Afan to Sada. Spare players over on that right hand side. Party Moore runs a real line on that right hand sideline up off the stick of Alim. And it is a penalty corner. Penalty corner number two. But he makes some ground, doesn't he, Party Moore? He is tireless on that right hand flank and he gets a round of applause from his coach quite right certainly is but this is i think this is all created by sada singh i must admit the last two games we've watched i've seen sada play like i haven't seen him play before he's worked really really hard in defense and as a center half he's not traditionally known for straightening up and having a go at opposition defensive front generally just paddles the ball around and controls the possession and distributes well so Ramandi will inject. Rupinder now on the left castle. Utapa on the right castle. And it goes to Rupinder who finds the back of the net and leaves Amjad, the Pakistan keeper, sprawled on the turf, beaten for pace. It's goal number 11 from the big India number three. Ripped into the net and India have the lead. Two and a bit minutes into the second quarter. Just a slight change around with Pindapal coming to the first battery. On the left hand side, Ali Amjad not able to get to this one. He's slightly shorter. But the pace on that one, Rapindapal Singh has just beaten him. All ends up for pace. It's interesting having watched other keepers as we see Ron Nomans. So as we've, we've watched other keepers against the big flickers in this game. The ones that have been successful have been the ones that have actually stood and strode into the ball. It's very difficult to dive when it's high and get the ball. It's much easier if standing on your feet and if you're well balanced trying to go. I know it's easier said than done from up here on the, in the commentary box, but that's the observation I've made watching 20 matches in this tournament. Yeah, the key to it is that you've just got to drive. If the ball's coming to your right hand side, drive out with your right hip extend the hand and then just get your left left shoulder coming around ever so slightly not all the way around but just slight rotation on the left shoulder that allows you to cover the space you've got to try and make that save in front of your face just the space in front not try and make it going out all the way to the left or to the right also your body is a bigger target if you make the step well, if you can take it just slightly out in front of you you cut the angle a little bit we're talking fine margins of the ball travelling at, at some pace, so you know, there's no disgrace to be beaten by it. But I think you just give yourself a better chance. Yeah, and I mean, this is just generally a game of fine margins. You know, one inch or two inches here or there means the ball's either past you or you get a touch on it and it goes for a long corner. 
probably ball back inside, but it can't find the intended target. Where they do get the lucky back, Pakistan as it falls for them. And this is very the skipper for this hit. It's made its way into the circle, but Tim uh, Sana there to, or Berenda Lacra, excuse me, there to bring it away. What a game he's had tonight, Berenda Lacra. Created some great opportunities down the left hand side. Now mopping up behind Ching Lin Sana and Upindapal. Mill. Upinda. To Sada. Upinda. Kashjeev just lets that roll forward, hits his foot. Peter Wright just playing on until see what happened for the advantage. Kashdeep was the first to play the ball, then the whistle blew, so he's not played the ball after the whistle has gone. Here he goes again. Big aerial, I seem can't bring it under control. 16. Sada. Field. That's a lovely bit of skill from. Nick and Tamaya, Nick and Tamaya still going, feed it out to Talvinda. What a goal that would have been. Talvinda putting it over the bar, but Nick and Tamaya with some wonderful skill. Great bit of play by India. But this ball from Talvinda should have gone to the far post, which was just selfish. He had two men waiting for him on the far post. Ramandeep would be absolutely filthy. And Akash deep too, but take nothing away from the bit of skill from Nick and Tamaya down through the middle. That was just fantastic. It was great awareness by Nick and Tamaya that he had two defenders that were square of each other. So the gap was directly between them and that's exactly what he did. He got into the space between the two and just straightened up, played the ball between the two and followed up with the run. Tremendous awareness. Pinder, I get to 50 percent now. He's taken or had the responsibility of 22 penalty corners out of the 26 that uh, India have taken. They're not giving anything away in their <laughs> penalty corner routine, India. But they, they don't need to because they've been so successful. Why? Why let the a trick out of the bag unnecessarily? I think it was actually quite smart because all week long, off the number one battery, which is the one on the left hand side. The attack is left. When Rapindapal has been on that one, he's always gone for the slider across to the far post. So it's almost as though they spent the whole week setting this, the defences up for this final. In this instance, he's gone to that, that battery and come back to the near post. I think that's what's done them. Sada all the way through to Ramandeep. Ramandeep winds one up. It's a goal. Touched in front. It's Yusuf Afan who gets the touch and sends the Indian back delirious below our bell of commentary position India 2 Pakistan nil Ramadine doing what Talvinda should have done a little earlier going across the goal to the far post and Yusuf Afan turns it in to make it 2-0 the magic of Sada Singh on the distribution this is a tremendous ball pinpoint accuracy on the move he's running to his left and then that's a fantastic ball in as well Afan Yusuf well placed nice and low just inside the line of the post. There you go. Not much the goalkeeper could have done. But Mahmoud, I think it was, that was on the wrong side. Marking Afan Yusuf. He needs to get goal side. Just rewards for India. So two goals in five minutes for India. And they are firmly in control of this gold medal match. Pakistan must score the next goal, you feel, if there is indeed to be another goal in this match. Or if Pakistan want to get back into it, they've got to get on the score sheet next. Here is Afan. Sada. It's an absolute masterclass from Sada tonight. Those are the kind of mistakes they can't afford, though. It's been quickly taken by mm -hmm. Rashid, who was called a little statuesque for that second goal. Here is Rashid. Rashi getting his head up, playing it down the line. Here is Irfan Jr. Tosi.
a couple of balls on the park. Rectified by the ball boy. Afan now with four goals, all from open play. And a green card has been given to Davinda Valmiki. Umar Butazain kicked it off intentionally. Played it with his foot intentionally. Here's this pass again. Tremendous pass by Sada. Good ball across. Free hit to Pakistan. Into the circle they go. Long corner. There is Davinda Valmeki. Two minute suspension for him. His first degree card of the tournament. Actually only India's fifth. They've had very good discipline. Ball in. Three hits to India. Crucial for Pakistan now is just to maintain their composure. Still got to stay united as a unit. Still plenty of time to go to get this game back on track. Here's Kotajit. Afan wants the ball to take the sideline ball quickly. Chinglin Sada. Kotajit. Jazjit. Eight circle penetrations so far tonight. That's uh, three quarters less than they had in the semi final, but they've got the same number of goals. Chance here for Pakistan. Uma taken down by a rash challenge by Kotajit. Penalty corner to Pakistan. Just late arriving was Karajit. Totally wrong line. He got too high up in the circle. Umar Bhutta doing the, the necessary. What an important penalty corner this is. Hugely important. So, big chat in the Indian defence and Alim Bilal is on the right hand castle. Here he is, and he finds the bottom corner. What an absolute ripper of a penalty corner. Nothing that Akash Chitte can do about that, but Pakistan are back in this one. We said they needed to score the next goal, and they have, thanks to that man there. there. Two one down now. What a time to find your form again, Alim Bilal. Very, very late drag. Across to his left. Diving. Akash Chikte thought he was going to the other side. Just the late release. You can see that there. Very difficult to read that one. And again, he he he, he has done similar to what Rupin has done. He's gone top right or keepers, top left, top left. Akash Chikte has taken a step to his left and he stuck it down the other corner. Absolutely. So, Davinda Valmiki sitting on the bench on the naughty step. Just when they get back on level terms, something like that happens. 4.27 to the half time interval. India 2, Pakistan 1. India going into a two goal lead, courtesy of Rupinder Pal Singh and Yusuf Afan. Inside 23 minutes with the two goal advantage lasting just the three minutes. I mean, Bilal, who's been a little off sorts, off colour with his penalty corners in the previous two or three matches for Pakistan. Well, he's not off colour tonight. He's absolutely now. That is hit with real pace from Pali Moore. And Even better by Talvindo to get the initial control in it. <laughs> that would have really hurt if that had uh, gone straight onto someone's body. Again, smashed across. Talvinda a little bit. Jazz Jeets. Throws the aerial ball. There's two players in green there. Bring it under control is Tasawa Bas. 
to the end of the circle, into the foot of Berendra. Pakistan just got their tails up here. And then Bilal, that one's along the floor, but there to bring it away. Uh, Nick and Tamar and they're off again here. Party more Talvinda. Sada looking to my on the reverse stick. And he could have passed that on to Afan, who was in plenty of space to his left. Nick and Tamar saying it's come off a Pakistan stick. He's got a referral if he wants to use it. A tremendous interplay. Does look as though it does. But I think it would have been a dangerous ball. Tremendous interplay by India, building up that right-hand side. Ball out the back. The party ball has just dropped it back for Sada. The one-touch delivery to Nick and Tamaya at the top of the circle. Got some pace on him, hasn't he, Nick and Tamaya? He's a slippery little character. Plays his hockey at the bank, Mumbai, in the HIL. It's probably the most consistent I've seen him play in the last couple of years. Uh, they've expected big things from him in the past. He's put flashes of good games together, but nothing really consistent. This tournament has really been phenomenal. Well, Andrew Lacker to Sada. Sada. Narendra. Pinda. 140 remaining in the first half. Jazjeet. Oh, he's a little lucky there, Jazzy. He's miscontrolled it and then felt the bump of the Pakistan player behind him. Pinda, Narendra, Sada, pushing it onto the end of his stick, a little bouncing ball. Sada to Talvinda. It's cut out. Pakistan bring it away and it's played forward by Tasawa Abbas. And the ball round the corner for Umar Buta. Just too much on it from Rizwan Senior. Initial bit of play, very well read by Brian Dalakar. Just not able to get the ball under control. As we head into the last minute of the first half. First time ball, no one there. 